We'll be walking through the steps and how to migrate a tenant. At a high level, in our 8x environment, we'll be creating a brand new tenant. And in our 7x environment, we'll be moving the data over to our 8x environment. We'll be stopping right at that point where we start moving the data. We'll be addressing all the steps that's before it in our Realize Suite Lifecycle Manager. Let's go ahead and jump in the GUI. I'm first going to start out by clicking on Identity and Tenant Management. I'll then click on Tenant Management. If you see something different, it tells us that tenants haven't been enabled. In a previous video, we walked through the process of how to enable tenants. We currently see our Marvel tenant. This is the one that we used in our merge video. I'm going to click on the Tenant Migration. I'll then click on Migrate Tenant. This screen just gives us an overview of what we'll be accomplishing today. For this entire process, we do recommend a scheduled maintenance window. I'll click on the Continue button. We'll then choose our source environment, which will be our 7.6 environment, and our target environment, which will be our 8.3 environment. Under our source to target tenant mapping, we'll be migrating our Capcom tenant to a new tenant in our 8.3 environment. I'm going to click on the Next button. I'll then check the box next to Tenant Migration, and then click on Save and Next. On this screen, there's a couple things we should talk about. The first is that yellow box, just letting us know there will be some downtime. The next is SMTP. We want to make sure we have it configured in case we ever needed to do a password reset. The next is our remote database connections. There's a command we need to run to establish this, and I'll include an article that walks through that process and how to actually do it. For authentication, if we are using any kind of authentication adapters, we'll need to manually configure them in the global environment of our VMware Identity Manager. Lastly, if we're doing third-party identity providers, there's some additional configurations that need to be done in that third-party provider once the migration process completes. I'm going to check the box and click on Save and Next. We'll then choose our source tenant. This will be Capcom. This is the one we're using for migration. Then we need to enter some information about our new tenant. We're going to be migrating this to a new tenant called Capcom in our 8.3 environment. I'll start out with a tenant name. I'll just call it Capcom. For the username, it'll be Capcom Admin. First name Capcom, last name Admin. For the email ID, we need to make sure we have a valid email address. This is what we would use if we ever needed to do a password reset. And then lastly, I'll put in the passwords. For our directory migration steps, we do want to have Active Directory configured for our new tenant. So I'm going to go ahead and check the box. For our target connector, I'll click on the drop down and just choose one of our nodes. And then we just need to put a password in. You'll notice in the bind distinguished name, or bind DN, that it already has a path map for us. Once that's all entered, I'll click on validate. If validation fails, we first recommend checking the password. And if the password is correct, reaching out to VMware support for the next set of steps. I'll click on Save and Next. I'll next click on Run PreCheck. This will go through the process of checking our environment to make sure everything is configured correctly. We do have a warning. This is a warning about SMTP. In your production environments, we do want to make sure any kind of warnings or errors are addressed. I'll then click on Save and Next. Lastly, we're on our summary page. We just want to make sure everything looks correct before clicking the Submit button. To find out more information about the status, we can click on the Review Request Details. This process took 10 minutes in my lab environment. And now that's complete, we can go through the rest of the configurations for our Capcom tenant. I'll start out by opening up a new tab and going to our Capcom tenant. I'll then go to our login page. I then want to change our dropdown to System Domain. We haven't entitled our admins yet, which is why we're using this account. We're along with our Capcom admin account, which is the one we just created. I then want to choose VRA Migration Assistant. Add a source instance, where we can currently see our 7.6 environment has already been added. I'll then click on the Edit button. I'll then click on the slider next to our Capcom environment and click on Next. This will allow us to begin the migration process from our 7x environment to our 8x environment. To wrap up this video, we walk through all the steps in our Realize Suite Lifecycle Manager, all the way up to the point of migration. I hope you found this video informative, and I'll see you in the next one.